Hey guys, Dabhasa here and today we'll be talking about Cricket 24. So this video is not a review video. This video just provides my very first impressions of the game as this uh, video features the first match that I played in Cricket 24. The match is between Rajasthan Royals and Mumbai Indians at the Savai Man Singh Stadium. The stadiums and both the teams, they are all officially licensed within the game. So that's a good thing. So coming on to the game, there was no build up for the game as such. Began released screenshots and trailers for the game very late and I also made a video about it because I was very skeptical about the release of the game. Now I will be making a review video and I will be making more gameplays of the game so an in-depth review will follow up soon. Coming, on, coming back on to the first impressions of the game, so the very first impressions of the game are not good. They are mixed but on the negative side for me. Let's talk about the good side first. The good things is, uh, the first good thing right off the bat is the batting is way smoother than it was in Cricket 22. I can feel the shots. The gameplay is smoother and that began is emphasizing on that fact as well. They're constantly saying that they have smoothened up the things and they're very right with that. I can feel that the batting looks very similar but it plays very differently to Cricket 22. Another good thing is fielding. Although that is a very mixed thing because you will be seeing a very funny looking glitch with fielding in this gameplay but the overall fielding of the game is improved. The fielders are not as slow as they were in Cricket 22. So if you are trying to get that third run because of the slow animation of the fielders then you will have to think twice. Now you guys must be seeing that Yashashu Jaswal is, uh, has flashy hair in this uh, particular gameplay video as funny as it uh, sounds it is actually disappointing to see an officially licensed player like that but uh, I have uh, checked the Twitter account of Big, Big Ant and Ross Simmons has been commented on it and they are working on that glitch. They actually have launched uh, quite a lot of patches and they are coming up with more patches. For instance batting styles of all the batsmen is set to batting style 6 and Big Ant is aware of the issue and they are making sure that they get that sorted out very soon. The game is very similar to Cricket 22, there is no doubt about that. It's not a huge upgrade in my opinion. There are some graphical updates here and there if you have played enough of Cricket 22 so you might find them but as an Indian I'm already happy with the fact that they have got officially licensed Indian IPL teams and Indian, state, Indian stadiums but there is one big issue there as well. I don't no, and or I'm, am I, I'm not aware whether that is an issue or a glitch or the Big Ant has done it on purpose. The issue is with Indian licensed players, you cannot transfer them to your to them uh, to their respective national sites. For instance, you have Rohit Sharma, Surya Kumar Yadav as Mumbai Indians players in the game, but you cannot find them in the Cricket Academy. Hence, you cannot add those particular licensed players to Indian team. Now that's a bummer. I hope that's a glitch and Big Ant will sort it out soon but if that is not a glitch and that is due to some licensing issues then I think there is no point of having those licensed players. As much as I love IPL, this video also features IPL but I want them in my Indian team. I want to play international cricket with India and Pakistan and Australia etc and it's World Cup season so if I'll have to go back to community creations for uh, my Indian team in the game then I won't even bother having those uh, licensed players in IPL or Indian T20 league whatever Big Ant is refereeing the league as so I hope that they fix this soon and this is a raw gameplay footage by the way, I have not edited out anything. This is my very first gameplay video of Cricket 24. I am playing the game on PlayStation 5. It is looking good on a 4K display. The stadium looks good. I have been to Savai Man Singh Stadium myself and it is a very close creation of the original real stadium. Now, here is another funny looking glitch. They have improved the fielding but I said that it has its own caveats. So you can see here that I am running. 16 runs. I'll run 16 runs actually and when no one will bother This whole scenario will end the moment. I slow down and I decide just to be done with it See no, no one is bothered. I'm running. I'm taking more runs 
Yeah, right. Nobody will pick the ball up. I think they are waiting for me. I think I should go into the game and fetch the ball and maybe that's how this whole thing will end. But anyways, these funny glitches existed in Cricket 22 as well. They existed in Cricket 19 as well, but they were sorted out. And it is very disheartening to see them in your very first match. If they appear, if they pop out randomly here and there, it's fine. It's not a game-breaking experience, to be very honest. I have not faced any hard crashes or anything like that but these funny glitches in your first match it does not make a good impression I'm rooting for Big Ant I have played all of their games and I definitely love uh, Big Ant Studios because they are the only major studios making cricket games who's trying to take this great game into the virtual world for all of us and they are getting licenses done they have also promised to get uh, RCB and CSK licenses soon and they'll provide them as free but this uh, this amount of glitches right off the back it just dampens the whole experience so my first impressions are very mixed I am a huge huge big end studios fan and despite that I am saying that I did not like my fir very first 10 to 15 minutes of the game so if you are a neutral person and I think uh, my words are speaking for themselves you will definitely not like the game in its current state I hope Big Ant launches the patches that they have promised very soon and we get a good game the game looks good it has the potential to be a great game but it needs some fixes and with that I'll leave you guys and uh, please watch this gameplay and uh, have fun with it and yeah, I'm just checking the difficulty I was actually scoring rapidly so I was just checking on what difficulty I was playing on so I was playing on pro and medium and I changed it to wet and hard and it did not make any difference to be very honest I was uh, I was hitting even on better and hard so the difficulty settings did not make much difference for me I'll try it on the hardest difficulty soon more gameplays Review videos and live streams are coming up on the channel, so stay tuned and please uh, watch this gameplay video and see for yourself. And please uh, like the video, share, and comment. Definitely comment your views about the game, whether you will be getting it, what are your expectations from the game, do you like this in its current state, what do you expect, what should Big and do with the game. Okay, guys, I'll leave you to it. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Shot at least two on offer. Good running, they should come back for two. Sent back in the end. The run was on, but apparently they're content to keep the strike. Yep. Couldn't get it through the field. Yeah, nice early call. That's an easy run. Thank you.